My name is Tom Wright. I'm Senator for District 14, the state of Florida, which is southern Volusia County, northern Brevard County. Probably around 10 or 11 years ago, I became aware of hyperbaric oxygen treatments. So my wife and I got involved with uh, folks that did that type of work and provided the financial wherewithal to support some of our veterans that needed that care. I get asked oftentimes, so what does hyperbaric oxygen treatment do? And I tell them I've been, I've been uh, told by people that are in the know, because I'm not a medical doctor, that what it's primarily doing is it's, it's concentrating us in a 100% oxygen chamber where we're, being, where we're absorbing because of the pressure equal to about one and a half to two fathoms. So it's equal to the pressure as if you would dive in the water and be maybe around 24 to 30 feet above, below the surface. So some pressure, you would feel it. And we're marinating, if you will, in 100% oxygen, which is basically causing our bodies to produce stem cells by the thousands. And that's what is the way the body cures itself, treats itself, repairs itself, is the growth of stem cells. So that's really a layman's term, what's going on in that chamber. I would say that it gives a veteran their life back. And what more humane thing can we do for another fellow human than to find a way to give them their life back? It's a sad thing, but I can tell you exactly what the problem is and why people are not being exposed to hyperbaric oxygen treatment, and it's, it's big pharma. Uh, the pharmaceutical industry is the largest lobbying organization in the world and I'm exposed now as a senator to a lot of different lobbying organizations and they push back. They would rather medicate than repair. They would rather medicate our veterans and I say it's sad because um, these veterans that I personally have met, that I have personally paid for to get the treatment, are in a medicated stupor is what I call it. They have a difficult time um, being a human being. They have a difficult time being rational with their spouse, their children and they have a very difficult time keeping, getting, and maintaining a job because they're so drugged up. And I think it's what leads us to the 22 a day. And it, it breaks my heart because these men and women that have done so much for this country, that we're proud of our veterans, they deserve better. And that's what our, that is our stumbling block, and I have experienced it firsthand. Secondly is just the education factor, because when I bring it up to people that I have uh, met in, in my personal life and now in my senatorial life to say, really? It does that? I didn't know that. So they act so surprised and so, you know, we need to promote it. And that's what, you know, why we're here this weekend at this symposium is to make more people aware and then to take that information out and spread the word that hyperbaric oxygen treatment does in fact do what we said it would do and it will help people to be free of PTS.